What's up guys, it's Avery here. I don't think that you can be a personal finance channel without talking about cryptocurrency. And I've made fun of crypto bros before in one of my videos, but it's difficult to make fun of these things that you don't know very well. I'm not a crypto channel or someone who's extremely interested in crypto, but it is something that I've dabbled in and I understand how much utility that the space has. And not only does it have a lot of utility and a lot of very cool use, but you can use cryptocurrency as a savings account. If this is your first time to the channel or if you're returning and you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please go ahead and do so. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any tips for investing in real estate and things that you can do with your money in order to build your wealth. Like I said, this is not a crypto channel and I'm not a crypto expert. I just got interested in cryptocurrency when I started reading the book, The Infinite Machine by Camila Russo. The book mainly discusses Ethereum and more specifically how Vitalik Buterin started Ethereum. And it's very cool and very interesting and something that I would recommend reading, especially if you're interested in getting started in buying cryptocurrencies. And cryptocurrencies don't just have the value of the blockchain and buying NFTs and crypto kitties, but there are smart contracts associated with Ethereum. And I think it's very cool and there are a lot of real world uses that could be used down the road. And once I learned about this stuff, it got me much more interested in wanting to purchase cryptocurrencies and getting involved. But the real kicker was that I learned that you could earn five to 6% on your Bitcoin and Ethereum and use it as a high yield savings account. As a disclaimer, any of the products or places that I'm talking about where you can purchase or store your cryptocurrency, I am not sponsored by, as well as I do not own any Dogecoin or Doggycoin as Jaspreet from Minority Mindset or Dogcoin as Beat the Bush calls it, I simply own Bitcoin, mainly Ethereum, as well as some Cardano or on the street as it's called ADA. And before we go forward, I've not YOLO'd or FOMO'd any of my money into this cryptocurrency. I've done a lot of research about which ones I wanted to purchase and why, and mainly because of their utility. And I've also not put a ton of money into cryptocurrencies. I've only put in what I've been willing to lose. So the point of this video is not learning about cryptocurrency, but it's how you can use cryptocurrency and earn a lot of interest on your money. When your money is sitting in the bank account, just like a major bank, like Bank of America or Wells Fargo, it's earning virtually 0% interest, especially if it's just sitting in a checking or savings account. Now you can go a little bit higher and use a high yield savings account, which I've talked about before. And if you're interested in opening one of those up, check it out in the description below and you can use my referral code and earn a little bit of extra money if you decide to open one of those. So when you're earning virtually nothing in your checking or savings account with your major bank or a small amount of interest in your high yield savings account, you're barely and not really keeping up with inflation whatsoever. But I learned that if you purchase cryptocurrency and store it in a specific place, that you can earn five to 6% interest on that cryptocurrency, depending on the amount that you have and depending on which cryptocurrencies that you have purchased. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking I'm interested in buying cryptocurrency, but you're not sure how to or where to, please pay attention to this. If you're planning to buy cryptocurrency, do not buy it on Robinhood. If you're just buying on Robinhood, all you can do is buy the cryptocurrency, but you can't have it earn any interest. So yes, you'll be a part of all of the gains that cryptocurrency has had over the past year, but you won't be able to earn any interest on that money. So you're taking all of the risk of it potentially going down or crashing up, but you're not getting any of the simple reward of that interest. So if you're buying on Robinhood, your money just stays there. But there are a lot of other platforms where you can purchase on those platforms and then store them in various hot or cold wallets that allow you to earn interest. So what is the difference between hot and cold storage? So if you watch my video making fun of every crypto bro, you'll have seen that there is cold storage, which looks like a USB and there are various companies that allow you to have these similar to something called a ledger or there are other ones. I'm not super familiar with this stuff, so please do your own research if you're interested in buying cryptocurrency and keeping it in this cold storage. But essentially this cold storage has your money in the most safe way possible. And when I'm saying money, I'm saying cryptocurrency. You have various key phrases that only you will know that allow you to access your money in these cold storage wallets. And no one can touch them on the blockchain and it's virtually impossible for anyone to get in touch with that money and take it from you. When your money is using hot storage, you're storing it in one of these accounts like BlockFi, which is what I use, and then it's earning interest because a company like BlockFi 
can take the money that you're storing with them, similar to any bank, and loan it out to people at a high interest rate. The difference is people are taking crypto loans with a much higher interest rate than if people were getting a loan from a bank. So if I went to a major bank and asked for a loan for say a house, they would give it to me with a 3% interest rate. If I went to BlockFi and asked for money to buy a house, it would be at a nine or 10% interest rate. So BlockFi is able to give me more money back because they're offering higher interest rates on loans that they're giving out to people. So in my opinion, hot storage is pretty much the exact same as keeping your money in a bank and cold storage is like keeping your money hidden under a mattress, but at least it can still earn the value of cryptocurrencies going up. But if you have your money in that hot storage, depending on which platform you use, you can earn five to 6% interest and depending on the amount of Ethereum or Bitcoin you own. The more Ethereum and Bitcoin you own because they're now worth so much money, you get less and less interest. So I personally use a hot wallet with BlockFi because right now you earn 4.25% interest on Ethereum and 5% interest on Bitcoin. It used to be higher, but it's coming down and down as the prices of those two cryptocurrencies continue to go up and up. But if you're using something else like USD Tether or some of these other cryptocurrencies, you can earn as high as 9% interest on your money in those cryptocurrency accounts. So I don't just buy my cryptocurrency on BlockFi. You actually can't buy cryptocurrency there. You have to buy it from a different platform that can be connected to BlockFi. So if you're gonna go buy a cryptocurrency, make sure you either do the same thing as me or you find out which platform allows you to connect it with what hot wallet so you know which platforms you actually should use and which ones you should sign up for. So I personally buy my cryptocurrency on a site or a platform called Gemini because Gemini is really well connected with BlockFi and it's super easy to transfer your money back and forth without having any issues. So I'm not gonna go through the process specifically of how you actually do that, setting up an account, moving your money from Gemini after you've purchased those cryptocurrencies into your hot wallet of BlockFi. If you're interested in figuring that out, I'll link a video in the description below where is how exactly I learned how to do that stuff through Andre Jick, one of my favorite personal finance YouTubers. So if you're interested in buying that stuff, of course, after you finish watching my video and smashing the like button, then go ahead and watch that video. Very helpful, very detailed, very easy to understand. So this is very cool. You can earn interest on your money that is a lot higher than any other type of savings accounts or checking account with whatever bank that you have out there. But isn't cryptocurrency extremely risky and it's possible that you could lose all of your money? So sure, yeah, it is possible that your cryptocurrencies could lose a lot of value. There's not a lot of historical data associated with the prices of Ethereum and Bitcoin, and they've shot up like crazy in value over the past year. So it's possible they could crash completely the other way and stop going up. But that's similar with anything that you buy and anything that you put your money towards. But I've learned that if you put a lot of research into purchasing something, anything, then you're gonna feel a lot better about that investment. And the more and more I've researched cryptocurrencies, the more secure I've noticed that these platforms are and the better I feel about putting my money into them. And the other thing that's happening and that we've noticed is that more and more of these Ethereum and Bitcoin holders are not just in it for the quick gains. They're holding on to this money or hodling diamond hands for a very long time and they're hoping for lots of gains over time. Especially because a lot of these people who are holding know that they have these interest accounts that allow them to earn money on their money that would be more than buying a treasury bond or putting their money in a high yield savings account or somewhere else as well as they have that gain from the Ethereum or Bitcoin over time. It's definitely possible you think this is too risky to invest your money in and not something that you should do. There's pretty much a 50-50 camp of, I should never put my money in, this is trash, and I'm all in on crypto, this stuff is the best. And it seems like more and more people are going over from the never should touch this stuff over to maybe I should try it out, it's pretty cool. And I'm one of those people and that happened to me this year and I think it's something that everyone should check out. But just looking at it, if you had $10,000 that you put into a cryptocurrency hot wallet versus $10,000 you put into a high yield savings account like Marcus Goldman Sachs that I use, that $10,000 in the high yield savings account will only earn you $50 over the course of a year. But if you had $10,000 of Bitcoin in your cryptocurrency account and you earned that 5% interest rate, that would be $500. So you can see the big difference there and that doesn't even take into account if your Bitcoin increases in value. 
Your high yield savings account principal won't increase in value. It'll only earn you that small amount of interest. It's important to note that you don't have to put 100% of your money into one of these accounts. I've put probably five to 10% of my money into one of these cryptocurrency accounts that earn me interest. So it's possible that it could be a very lucrative savings account for you, especially if you hold for a long time and you get a lot of interest and that interest is reinvested into those cryptocurrencies that you own. But it's also very possible that it could be extremely detrimental but that's true of any investment. So I would definitely encourage you to do your research to understand cryptocurrencies. And if you just wanna get started in learning, highly recommend that book that I talked about at the beginning of the video. And even if you find it detrimental, you can't argue with these interest rates and how lucrative those could be for a savings account. And if it continues crashing up, things are going to look good for the cryptocurrency world and for your savings account wallet. So this video is slightly different than what I normally talk about as I'm mostly in stocks and real estate. And if you're shocked, drop it in the comments below that I use cryptocurrency. I personally think it's very cool and has a lot of cool utility. And if you do the same thing, put that in the comments too. I wanna hear if more people do this. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends so more people know how to build their wealth and use cryptocurrency. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you guys next time.